So Bronny James is not a gamer. Well, I take that back. He's a gamer on the game, but he's not a gamer in real life, though. Hear me, can y'all hear me? It's Saturday. I'm supposed to have a day off. It is Saturday. I'm supposed to have a day off. Yes, Lord. Day off. But I keep having call after call after call. I don't know if it's these LeBron James fans don't want me to talk about Bronny. And these no good Lakers. <laughs> hey, I feel bad for Dalton Connect, boy. We're going to be talking about this new look Lakers. Bronny James, Homelander Jr. That done took a roster spot for somebody who deserved it. <laughs> Some of y'all about to be upset, so LeBron uh, nut jobs. Because you LeBron nut jobs don't have no problem with no other black player being talked about. But somehow you LeBron nut jobs become pro-black when you talk about Bron or Bronny. But LeBron James said that Bronny was ready to be an NBA player right now. Bronny James shot 16%. From the field. Bronny James would have went scoreless had he not been inserted back into a game with a couple of seconds left on the game so he can get his highlight layup on. His highlight low light layup reel. <laughs> and the kid is definitely dealing with stage fright. Here's my uh, professional opinion from a basketball standpoint. How is it that a kid can make every shot when he's standing next to his daddy and he's in a Laker gym? You can see the clips. The kid don't miss in practice. He don't miss. Every three he shoot up, he shoot with confidence. He nails it every time. He almost knows it's going in. He can't wait to get back up there to shoot another three. But in the game, he's shooting like, I just got to hurry up and get this shit up because my daddy keep telling me to shoot. Zero confidence whatsoever in the shot. Can't hit a three to save his life in game action. So Bronny James is not a gamer. Well, I take that back. He's a gamer on the game, but he's not a gamer in real life, though. He's a practice player at best. He's going to look good in workouts. He's going to look good next to his dear daddy. But by himself, when that popcorn start popping, he is not the player for when the popcorn go to popping. Keep him in the back. Keep him in the gym in the back. He's a monster. Out there on the court with that popcorn flowing, he is not his father. And I know, I know, I know. I'm a hater. All this y'all going to say. But somebody got to explain to me why this boy is a knockdown, lights out, three-point shooter. Every time you see a clip of this kid on Instagram, on, on NBA Today, they say he made all these shots in his workout. Every time they show him in a workout setting. And this is how I know these kids are not going up and down and playing basketball. See, it's okay to be in a controlled environment working out. But what happens when you roll that ball out and you play? And that dog get to come out. And a guy that gets to impose his will on him. See who a little tougher, who got more grit. See, everybody look good in the workout. Yeah, they prancing around, shooting three-pointers, and prancing around, and shooting layups, and prancing around, and dunking. But what about when you're playing? What about when you're playing? This kid hasn't showed me jack on the court yet not even a glimpse of it they keep showing these whole uh low light highlight reels trying to pretend and play up every damn thing this kid do and this is why i tell you marketing is it amazing they marketed lebron as a king 
Now they marketing his son as somehow a basketball player when this boy is a gamer on the video game at best. They trying to market this kid into being a basketball player. <laughs> Ain't this up? That's amazing. And this is no hate. Uh, man, some of the stuff that they've said about other players, this is light work. Everybody get it when you turn into a professional. So let's not start crying and pretending pro-black, pro okay? When I can show you a story to the contrary to debunk every crybaby thing you're going to say to the, defend this one kid while you disrespect everybody else's kid. Bronny James is not ready to play NBA basketball. I don't think he'll ever be ready. Like, whose plan was this? They frying this kid. Like, what I'm saying ain't nothing compared to what these kids saying on in, in the comment section. Man, they frying Bronny James online, boy. They calling him all Red Cross kid, all kind of stuff, boy. Like he a DEI hire. They killing Bronny James. And like I said, anybody who's a real basketball player, you know that this was a bad idea. Magic Johnson has come out and spoken against it. This is a bad idea. It's a stain on the NBA. This is supposed to be the top NBA players. And don't tell me nothing about no heat of 50-something pick. When there's a center for the Minnesota, he was a 50-something pick. Uh, he playing on Minnesota side, number 55 or whatever, the center. A uh, power forward. He about 6'10". He was player of the year when he came out. Got drafted, didn't work out. Now he's in Minnesota. Playing good. You get a chance to play if you work through the ring, you work hard. Bronny got a guaranteed contract. If that wasn't Bronny James after the performance he had last night, the coaches wouldn't even talk to him until he took a shower, got that little pink thing out on his seat. He would have had to walk in to the coaching office and the coach would have told him, hey, man, you know, you're a nice kid. You're a nice guy. I respect you. You might have a bright, bright future somewhere. It's just not right here. And I thank you for your time. And that would been the last time you saw that player touch the court again. The man already getting what his daddy get in game, the garbage minute points. He got two points in the garbage minute. So he didn't rally up a zero. All his shots look rushed. And who the hell said this boy play defense? They keep lying. Who said this boy could play defense? He stands straight up on defense. He's not down in a stand. You can blow by him going left every single time. I'm not even in the NBA. I just looked at a few of his games. All you got to do is drive left on Bronny James. It's like his leg don't move over. I don't know if one of his legs bad, but go look at it. You, you, uh, the quick guards can go right and left, but if you attack him going left, oh, man, you just Olay that joke. He's standing straight up. It's a blow by every single time. Where's the defense at? And then I'm trying to figure out what is LeBron, Bronny James go to? He's not, it don't seem like he's quick enough to get by the guys. Then he's not tall enough to shoot over him. Well, he's tall enough. He just don't have enough skills to. What are they seeing there? I'm not seeing. What is everybody seeing that I'm not seeing? Because I know they're going to call me a hater. But can you explain the hate? I'm seeing a kid get blown by every single time. I'm seeing a kid that should have got called into the locker room as the 55th pick. Should have got called into the locker room, said it ain't going to work out. 
Same way the kid from Minnesota. It didn't work out where he first got drafted. That happens. That's what keeps this league so competitive. Everything's supposed to be earned. Nothing is given. That's why you can have a guy like Scalabrini on the bench and he can still go to a park and beat the hell out of half of America, if not all of y'all. But I dare say if Bronny James go to parks all around America, that he's going to beat everybody he faced. Shit, half the park can beat Bronny. You might have one or two niggas in the city that can challenge a few NBA players. You know, it's a numbers game, so you don't have one or two niggas that was already good enough to be pro. They just didn't make it. But with Bronny, it's going to be about seven, eight niggas in the hood that can beat that nigga. I ain't going to lie. It's so, I'm talking about just at the park randomly shooting or uh, cook them. <laughs> My homeboy I played high school ball with, he a punish Bronny. And he old now. I don't know about now. He old as me. He said, my little cousin. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, there's so many of us got cousins that we can look at Brian and say, no, oh, hell no. Nah. My cousin to beat his ass right now. Some people actually play good. I'm talking about tally up 14, 15 points a game in summer league and still don't make it. This man got a guaranteed contract with two points in the garbage minutes. And here come this sorry ass media that we got, the weak ass media that we got today in there that just sit here and push lies on every damn station. Oh, yeah, LeBron, Bronny got so much potential. I mean, uh, shit. He got Bronny. I mean, he got LeBron's genes. Shit, I think that boy got more of his mama than him. Yeah, he kind of looked like his mama, too. That boy got more of his mama than him. Mm-hmm. He's a nice, caring kid. Mm-hmm. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. He's a nice young man. <laughs> um uh oh you got we got a detractor well yeah who's better at 19 Stephen A or Bronny shit I ain't never seen Bronny hit 17 threes in a row well I ain't never seen Stephen A either uh -huh. but all I know is this is fucking sad if you really respect the game and you love the game of basketball, you can't respect this. And especially after seeing the product that LeBron put out here, after disrespecting so many NBA players and saying what he said. I'm like, no. Nigga, I'm going to definitely hold you to task for that. I don't give a damn if none of these goddamn analysts don't say nothing. But I heard Ticket TV too. You already know Ceno going to be on it. Nigga, we holding y'all to task for that. Y'all sit here and disrespect all these players for Bronny, a guy who never deserved to be in the NBA, saying that he was better than current NBA players, and he go out there and do that? We want to see where's this mind-the-game mind that LeBron got. If he minded the game, he should have known his son wasn't going to do shit. Mind the game. Some more bullshit that y'all came up with. And then when somebody else called him out, y'all want to get mad at them. Oh, you're just a fucking hater. You're just a fucking hater. And it's going to get worse. J.J. Reddick, arrogant, loud, talking ass. And the media want to let him off the hook, too. He want to critique every other goddamn coach and this motherfucker got to keep his starters in so he don't get blown the fuck out worse than what he was getting. JJ, you're going to get whipped all season long, boy. And I, I don't think there's no help coming for you. 
Because everybody see the writing on the wall. Don't nobody want to come out there and get blamed for the LeBron wreck. Ain't nobody coming to save y'all. This is my message for you Lakers. Ain't nobody coming to save y'all. Y'all screwed over DeMar DeRozan the first time, so he said F you the second time. Every player that go there, they know that the, the shit going to get blamed on them. Y'all might get Jimmy Butler because allegedly they trying to throw his ass out of a, um, out of Miami. And if you get Jimmy Butler, he going to tell on your ass. Everything you do, he going to tell But I hope it ain't no help coming for you. Now, I hope you have to sit and deal with this shit. Because it happened to every superstar. They all got it in their head that they know every goddamn own thing. And they're the best at everything. In most cases, on the basketball court, they are. But ego is a mother trucker. <laughs> Jimmy and LeBron would be a great disaster. Because <laughs> Jimmy want that goddamn ball. He's not going to shoot over there and be no goddamn spot of the shooter. I want to see how many minutes LeBron play this year because he's going to have to play 40 minutes at 40. But if LeBron is still playing 38, 40 minutes, hmm. I'm going to play that goddamn Chael Sonnen video down there every day. Because that will be amazing. <laughs> That's nothing for Homelander. <laughs> On his 40th birthday, I think the motherfucker going to play the whole game. <laughs> He's going to play all 48 minutes. Shit. And you can say some WNBA woman look better than Bronny. Hell yeah, Angel Jones. But you can't just put Asia Jones in that category because she'll whip most of you then. When that documentary come out for LeBron, the Lakers have 39 national televised games this year. Preseason game, That's right? But yesterday's game had some, you know, particular interest in it because why? It was the first time we're going. We got a chance to see uh, Bronny James play in an actual uh, NBA basketball game. Although it was a preseason game. Nevertheless, it was a basketball game, and I actually found out about it on uh, on Bleach Report when I opened up my phone this morning. So I, I I didn't even I wasn't even aware of it. Then I quickly found out that Anthony Davis didn't play. I found out that uh, 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 LeBron James didn't play or anything like that. Right. So I open up my phone um, and I see like a, a, a clip. It says Bronny James chase down block, and they show this this kind of sequence. Right. And I'm like, oh, some must have. Some must have had, some must have balled out, right? He must have definitely balled out. But then I went to the box score to see, okay, well, so what actually happened in the game? So I went to the box score and I looked at the game for the Lakers and they had one starter play. No, I think two, Rui Hachimura played, Austin Reeves played, D'Angelo Russell played. Okay, so they had three starters uh, playing that game. So I immediately went to Bronny James. Why did I go to Bronny James? Because that's what Bleach Report, ESPN, all of these major uh, sports media companies this is what they were posting about this is what they were posting about and i went to go look at his box score given the fact that they were posting him all over the internet and what i saw i actually couldn't believe that that was a stat line but they were posting all of it so we actually want to get into his stat line so let's get into Bronny's stats 16 minutes in that game he went one of six from the floor he shot zero percent from the three he only attempted one three he got you one rebound one assist 
uh, in one block uh, in the game for 16 points. They had other players uh, that played in the game. I don't think their other rookie. I don't think the the the, the rookie that they picked. They drafted at the higher pick. I don't think he played. At least I'm not seeing him uh, here in the box score. No, no, Dalton Connect. He did play. So Dalton Connect finished that game 7 to 13 from the floor, 2 of 7 from the three. He got three rebounds, two assists, one steal, one block. Uh, he did have five turnovers, but he has 16 points. So he was published nowhere on the internet. But Bronny James was. Now, there are going to be some people in the comments saying, you're hating on LeBron's son. You're hating on LeBron's son. Why are you picking on his son? And I think those people, I think it's high time that you guys need to grow the hell up. You guys need to pull your skirt down, uh, pull up your skirt and stop acting like sissies. Seriously. I can understand if Bronny was in high school. I can understand to a certain degree if he was in college, but now Bronny's a pro. So all of the bozo activities you need to stop. He is actually a professional NBA player. A lot of you guys were, were, were twerking for it and saying he deserves to be there. Well, now he's there. So now we're going to talk about Bronny the way we talk about Ben Simmons, the way we talk about everybody else. And if Bronny's going to be getting all of this hype and praise and th there's no production to match all of the hype and praise, people are going to call it out. And I think you guys need to relax because a lot of these defenders are going to get all up in their feelings or you're attacking. Nobody's attacking anybody. If any other NBA player plays like trash, they're going to call it out. And Bronny's no exemption. I know you guys love elitism and feel like elites are off uh, 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 off limits. We can talk about all the other kids that didn't come from billion dollar families. They're 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 a fair game. But whenever we're talking about the face of the NBA son, oh, we need to we need to dial it back a bit, bit or we're hating. So when people critique all the other NBA players, when we're critiquing all stars and all of those top tier players, we're hating on them too. I think the bozo activities need to stop. Bronny is not a little child. He's a young adult and he's old enough to play in the NBA and he's getting millions to do so. So I think it is 100% inbounds to point out games where he doesn't play well. Now, let's get to Bronny's production. First of all, I want to get back to where we started a few months ago. Bronny is going to receive a lot of criticism. And the number one people I blame for the, 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 the group of people I blame for this are LeBron James for heaping all of that hype and praise on him. Number two, I blame the media for constantly. You see, we had this long conversation over the summer. Why are they put so much pressure? Who is the day? Who is the day specifically? Can we put some names on it? You mean his father? You mean companies like ESPN, Bleacher Report, that plastered him all over the internet when he had a game where he only scored how many points in that game? Bronny scored, uh, uh, Bronny scored two points in that basketball game. Two points. Two points in the basketball game, had one rebound, one assist. They had a chase down block, and you guys are pasting, plastering that all over the internet. You didn't, you didn't post one image of Dalton Connect, who's actually the higher draft pick. You didn't post him there. You want to post Bronny because you know it's going to bring a lot of clicks and it's going to bring bring a lot of entertainment and money. Is, and people are going to buy jerseys and all and all of that. So if that's what you're going to do, you got to deal with the you got to deal with the pros and the cons. It's a double edged sword. You can't just have it have it your way. Because there are going to be a lot of people like, well, wait a minute, what's going on here? Just like some people at one point were getting fed up with Deion Sanders. Initially, when co the Colorado Buffaloes were winning, everybody was excited. But after a while, when they're like, well, they're not doing any while. I'm talking about last season. And then they're like, okay, we need to move on to the next subject. Why are we still praising him? So I think it is fair game. Bronny didn't play well. It was a horrible game. It was a horrible game. Now, is it the first time that a 55th pick has had a horrible game? No. It is absolutely not the first time, but all those other 55th picks were not being plastered all over Sports Center and ESPN and Bleacher Report. They were not being shoved down the throats of NBA fans. So that was a different thing. But now you guys want to promote him like as if he's an all star. Now, if you talk about LeBron James son, you're not a good dad. That's the line Gilbert Arenas did. If you talk about Bronny James, now you're a jealous dad. So all the other players we're talking about in the NBA, we're not jealous dads. We're just people calling it like we see it. But now all of a sudden, when we talk about Bronny, we're jealous men. It, it was a difficult situation at one point uh, in the game because I'm watching Bronny. I'm not mad at Bronny. People keep thinking I'm hating on Bronny. 
Bronny should be out the league, man. Bronny shouldn't be out the league. He shouldn't. Should he be in the NBA? No, he's not ready for the NBA. It's not ready for it. And there's nothing wrong by saying Bronny ain't ready for the NBA. He just isn't ready for the league. Um, yeah, but he's learning the game. It's one preseason game. Don't mean anything, but he's not ready for the NBA. I mean, anybody could score a basket. It's it's not about that. You know, I'm just like, I'm not here to see how many points Bronny score. I'm watching this and see how he plays the game. And he's giving maximum effort. That's one thing he's doing. He's playing. He's playing hard. But he's just not as fast as people would like for him to be. Uh, when I mean fast, I mean game speed. You know, like, he, you know, he can't, he's trying to figure it all out. Figure out where to be, what to do on the court, where to be, you know, when they run, you know, their sets, who's got who, how to communicate with the team. He's got to learn all of the language, everything. So the game speed is a lot higher than what he's used to and accustomed to. And in a, when it's real, it's really going to get faster. But as you play, everything slows down and, you know, you get used to the game. But he's just not – at this point, he's not ready. That's why they have a developmental league for these type of situations. But this is all about a a ratings thing more than it is about a skill thing. I'm talking about even when his father was playing, his feet are a lot faster than his father's. He got a quick first step, but he's not really that fast for the NBA. Quick first step, but not that fast. Um, to compete, the heart and all of this, like defensively, he gives more of an effort than his father ever did defensively. Uh, he wants to take the challenge. He'll do anything that the coach is asking, but he's not LeBron James. He's not going to be that. So all you people hoping this is the second coming and all that, no. The kid ain't it. You can magnet ball it all you want, but you could fool the rest of the world. Now, long as the Ceno know, Mm -mm. that magnet ball, that's the mother of all trees. Ronnie James has zero points. The same way he played in college, it's the same way it's resonating here. And somebody wrote, man, Bernie James just don't seem to have the thing that he did in high school. Everybody is dope in high school. Do you know you playing against in high school? Some guys on the team, they ain't on the team because they the coach's son. You know, it's like, are you kidding? It's like everybody in AAU ain't great at basketball or even good. You know, they mama could pay the fees or their daddy could pay the fees. Shoot, they on a team. Now, Bronny has the best of the best. Bronny has had his entire life is being groomed to be a, a NBA basketball player. He's got NBA players scouting and telling him what to do. He's got the best physical trainers. He's got everything, a professional gym in his house. He's got everything at his disposal. You know, you got state-of-the-art equipment, nutrition. You don't have to worry about paying bills, knowing where your next meal is going to come from. You... You don't have to worry about any of these things. All you got to worry about is being great. And this is what you're dealing with now, right? The realities of 
what Kwame say, Homelander and Homelander Jr. <laughs> it's a dog and pony show, ladies and gentlemen. That's all it is. And it's not about Bronny James and they'll help him as the season go along to quiet the storm of people pushing this narrative. Um, I'm just observing what right. I see. So, of course, being the son of LeBron James, you're going to have haters from day one. Sometimes it might not be what you've done, but I think in this case, it may just be because of the situation that he's been in. Okay, and I can see from the perspective of Carcino, Jimmer's Pro, Kwame Brown, and a bunch of other guys, or namely podcasters, who don't have any uh, skin in the game. They have nothing to lose. They have no connection to LeBron or, or the clutch sports. Right, so they're just out here speaking their mind. All right, so I can see that I think they're more concerned with what's going on in the actual game. They're more concerned with you know, how the game is being portrayed because when you look at it, there's really no other major sports league where something like this can occur or has occurred, right? A player, you know, does not allow his son to come into the NFL just based on the fact that he's the son of Joe Montana. We will never have a situation where you know, an NFL player is still playing just because the game is so rough and you know nobody can bear to play 20 years unless it's a kicker all right and at the end of the day kickers will never have that much power all right now let's say if Tom Brady had a kid at a really young age then probably he would have been the one that would have potential for that to happen but obviously I think his kid right now is maybe like 13 14 max 15 Okay. And he's out of the league at that. But LeBron is doing it. And a lot of people didn't like the way that it was done. That's myself included. All right. Number one, he didn't deserve a spot. Right. His stats didn't merit it. His game didn't merit it. Right. And usually we expect this game to be based on merit. We expect everybody to, um, to eat what they kill in professional sports. And when you circumvent that, you know, in any way or form, you know, the fans are not liking it. That's why whenever you see something crazy happens in a game, people go on Twitter and they're like, you know, rigged NBA, rigged NBA like that. Because people don't like when things are rigged. People like when things happen, you know, the natural order, a natural process. All right. So when they saw that this was not a natural process, obviously you're going to have people who are not down with it. Okay. And secondly, um, I think somebody else could have had this spot, right? A lot of people who support what happened with LeBron and Bronny, you know, just coming on the Lakers 55th pick, just like that. They're not considering that there was somebody else who trained hard and maybe just has a little bit better skill than Bronny. And they were not, um, you know, granted the opportunity to be in the NBA this year because of Bronny. And they were better than him. And there, there could really have been a number of people, you know, who this happened to. Now, there is only one spot. And there's maybe 10, 20, 30, maybe 40 people vying for that one spot. And the potential really could have been there for 20, 15 to 20 guys to get that spot. But Bronny got it. And in many of these cases, he was not the better player. Right? So... This is what people are contending. This is what people are thinking about. And this is why, you know, they're not going to let up on, you know, about this whole situation. Thirdly, you know, as Lakers fans, you know, I was a Lakers fan when Kobe was there. But now when I see, you know, things being manipulated in this way, it's like, I don't know, can I support this team? And Dreamers Pro, I said that as well. He's not going to support the Lakers, you know, until LeBron is gone. So I don't know. You know, so that's why I can really see the viewpoint of a lot of these guys. I'm calling them haters in the title, but these are just people with their own opinion and their own perspectives based on things that happen, not just because this and that. They're not just because a person is a person. But that's about it. So